when you stop watching, you're basically, and that's why people have withdrawals. And that's another huge question that people ask me all the time. Like, how do I avoid withdrawals? You avoid them by rewiring the brain simultaneously, because as you start unwiring, the brain's going, where's, I always call it the Kool-Aid. Where's my Kool-Aid? Like, where's that, where's that awesome cocktail that makes my brain feel pleasure? And most men don't like to hear this, but it's really, if it's a, if it's a frequent and consistent habit, and I also don't love using the word addiction, but if it's a frequent and consistent habit, you're using it for pain reduction. It's not just pleasure because everybody thinks it's just my little habit to just chill out and relax. No, it's not. You're using it to soothe pain and it, and there's opioid types of neurotransmitters, literally pain reduction neurotransmitters being released. So it's like you've it's like you developed a substance addiction. Just the substances are coming from your brain. Yeah, and that goes back to the root cause of it, the majority of the time being some trauma associated, you know, related cause. It's like, yeah, we're we're running from the pain and seeking of the pleasure yeah. kind of kind of simultaneously. So what are um it, it's built on a shame cycle. So the, normally, and this is if you've ever seen a diagram of the cycle of a pornography addiction, shame is is a root cause. And shame what shame is is I'm a bad person. Guilt is I've done something bad. But what happens is somewhere in there, something shameful happened that made that person's self-worth be diminished. And that diminished self-worth seeks out the soothing. And that also goes back to talking about like stunting brain development. It's at that moment where all of that is happening and then the habit is built that is is at the root of stunting that brain. But so then it stays the brain that needs to be soothed. 